Hi, my name's E. Keller Herod, and have you ever thought to yourself, what is the perfect camera? Well, at least for me right now, I think I might have the answer. And that is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, forever to be known on this channel as the 6K Pro. Let's talk about it. All right, this, let's call this an introduction to the 6K Pro. Not even the actual camera, but more to the series in which I'm going to embark upon. I've decided that I'm going to talk about this camera till I can't talk about it anymore because it has really changed my life. It has done things, it has helped me make things that I haven't really thought about making before, like chef's content for helping a chef uh, gain some content on the internet, doing all kinds of things like video editing and all of the accoutrement that comes with working with a high-end camera. This thing is almost a Airy Alexa, y'all. It really is. It's like a little mini Airy Alexa. It has so many uh, tools and tricks that you can use with it, including things like making sure that your exposure is a little hotter than you think it should be. Because if you do, you'll be able to have lots and lots more depth and interesting stuff going on. This is my favorite camera. And this series is about my favorite camera. And I'm gonna show you some footage right now from my favorite camera. At least my favorite camera so far in my life. This is some footage that I've taken since I've gotten the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Forever to be known on this channel as the 6K Pro. When I first got that camera, I, I filmed a lot of stuff. Enjoy.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, this camera has changed the way that I do business. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you exactly what makes it so special to me. And we're gonna go through it step by step to help you learn if you want to buy this camera yourself. Because I'm telling you, if you are an aspiring filmmaker and you have been in the digital SLR and Sony land and that sort of thing, this camera's right down your alley except it's the next level. And I hope that you enjoy what I'm about to give to you. So let's talk about that first episode. First episode is going to be an introduction. We're going to talk about the buttons and the the all of the uh, inputs and all of those things that the camera has. We're going to do a lot of just kind of talking about like why this particular uh, thing exists and why that exists and so on and so forth. The second episode is going to be about audio. We're going to talk about all of the different ways that I've used this camera to create great audio. I've used everything from the internal microphones on either side of the camera to XLR inputs so that I could plug in an actual XLR. I've done a video where I actually used that microphone that was plugged straight into the camera and it was pretty daggone wonderful. And also, I'm using this puppy right here. It is a Cinco, uh, I think it's G1 or something like that, lavalier microphone. And this microphone has allowed me to be able to just stand anywhere I want in this room. I decided to stand here because it's kind of cool and blurry in the, black, in the background. And everything looks really balanced. You know, right here in front of the window, a little dark over there, a little light over there, that sort of thing. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful to be able to move to the back go all the way over, I mean, 100 feet away, maybe even 100 yards away, if I'm not mistaken, which is a football field. So it's a pretty amazing little microphone. So we're gonna talk about that. And then the next thing we're gonna talk about is power management. Power management is such a big deal with these cameras. Because, uh, because in the beginning, in the beginning, there were these cameras called the 4K Pro and the, six, uh, the 4K and the 6K. That would be the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And these cameras use very small Canon batteries and now they use slightly bigger Sony batteries. But even if they are just slightly bigger, they changed the game when they created their new battery grip that doesn't use the space inside the camera, it uses pens. So there's a camera, there's a battery in the camera, and there are two batteries in the grip, which gives you a total of three camera, uh, three batteries, which basically increases your length of time by two thirds. So if you only could record for 45 minutes to an hour, now you can record for an hour and a half to two and a half hours. And I, and I mean that, I know it seems like it should be three hours, but there is no way, there is just no way. So <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. Then by the time we get to that, I'm going to hopefully have an opportunity to get my hands on a Tilta cage because I don't want the small rig cage doesn't work with my battery grip. If I want to use the small rig cage, I can't use the battery grip and I have to build my camera out completely. But what I don't want to do is have a big rig when I'm traveling, but I do want the protection of a cage. So I'm going to get the Tilta one and we are going to talk about that very cage. To cage or not to cage? We're gonna talk about the practicalities and advantages of traveling with the 6K Pro in the next episode. Because I spent my time in New Orleans and I have taken it to Walla Walla, Washington and I've done my best to figure out the best, most compact way to travel with the camera and to make it so that it's not too conspicuous. 
And then in the last episode, we are going to talk about practicing with your camera. That's right. The reason that I had my camera and I walked around my neighborhood and I shot everything I could and I did everything over and over and over again for weeks and weeks and weeks to the point of almost exhaustion was because I needed to know my camera well so that when I did finally use it in a professional way that I wouldn't fall flat on my face. And it worked out pretty well, except for one little thing, and I'll talk to you about that probably in that video. Oh, hell, let's talk about it now. The one little thing was audio. When I switched over the audio, I didn't have everything switched around right, and I didn't record any audio on my first professional gig. But that's okay, because all she wanted was images anyway. But woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, boy, oh boy, was that something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all. I will talk to you soon, and I'll see you in the next video of this series. It's the introduction to the 6K Pro. Enjoy, and love the camera that you're with. But before you do that, like and subscribe, please. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and like, and like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell, just in case. Love the camera that you are with. Bye now.